Hello, this is a demonstration of how to use the lab equipment. First you switch on the red button to turn on the bottom row and the red button there to turn on the multimeters. Over here on the left you get the power supply with the black for ground and red for plus and you can adjust the voltage from here. So if I connect black lead into the black and the red into the red which is positive so you try to keep the same colors so you don't blow anything up on your circuits um, if you want to see what's coming out of this you have to switch this on and if you short the leads out it doesn't cause any damage it just shuts down and you can adjust how much current you want coming out with this button here so if we want to measure this voltage we can put it into any one of these two multimeters so we put it into that one and you've got a reading we can adjust that from zero to 20 volts you can change the amount of decimal points with this um, button here or you can just press the auto button which will do everything for you. And the multimeter on this side is exactly the same. They're separate units actually, so they're not connected together. So if I put the, leave that in there. So the, the two center ones, this is the ground, and that's the five volts. This is fixed all the time which gives you 5 volts over there. Um, if I go to this one here, this is a second power supply, and you can adjust the voltage here again, same as the other one. And you can adjust the, how much current you want coming out here from zero current to 500 milliamps. Alright, this is the multimeter up here now. If I plug, when you switch it on, it defaults to voltage DC so you can use it to measure resistance by putting some crop clips on it like that and then you change this to ohms so it gives you the ohms there if you press the auto that's 270.34 ohms so that's how you measure resistance and if you want to measure current you have to pass a current through it so we set up say 10 volts down here We connect the resistor to pass some current through it. Right, so if I press this button here, that's taking 36 milliamps through that resistor, but it's not very accurate. So we'll pass the current through this top one to measure it more accurately. First you set the meter to milliamps, which is there. Now we disconnect the, the positive lead from here. So the positive from the power supply will go into the milliamps on the meter. And the current will come back out of the meter on the common and we'll connect it back to this resistor. And there you go, it's 34 milliamps. And on this one it's saying 33. So the top one's more accurate. As you change the voltage, the current reduces. As you turn up the voltage, the current increases. If the current is too high, you can put it into the amps range, select it on here, 
and it'll give you the amps. It's not as accurate as the other one, but um, it's for measuring higher current. So that shows you how to use the power supply, the voltage, the resistance, and measuring the current. Now we're going to show you how to use the signal generator over here. When you start using this, make sure this, these two buttons are out and this button is out as well. And turn the amplitude down there as well. So when you plug this in, that's the output. You use this BNC connector to go into the output. Don't use this one, that's for a trigger input. And these are called banana plugs. We'll use, we'll use another BNC lead to go into an oscilloscope up here. We switch that on there. And we connect black to black, red to red. And the first thing you do on this oscilloscope is to press the recall button, device settings, and default settings. So it puts the scope in back into a normal operation. Then press auto set. So you've got a nice square wave displayed up here. So if we adjust the frequency here, you can see it changing on the oscilloscope and this is the amplitude here. You can turn the amplitude up there, press the auto set and you've got a reading again up there. So you can select different modes on the signal generator over here. If you press this you get triangular waves. This one is square waves and this is pulse width modulated waves. So if we go back to sine wave, you can set the frequency using this. So th these buttons here will cycle through the frequencies very fast. But if you want fine control, you turn this knob here. We'll set it to 1000 hertz. Or thereabouts. Yep, so we've got 1000 hertz coming out and it's displayed here on the oscilloscope. So if we want to measure the amplitude we need to measure from the bottom of the wave to the top of the wave and you can move this cursor your trace up and down using this button so that's on a line there if you count it's on two volts per division so it's two four six eight ten ten point five volts peak to peak now if you want to measure the frequency you have to measure from the top of the wave to the top of the wave or the bottom of the wave to the bottom of the wave or you could go from the same point here to the same point there. I always use the two top ones. So you move this X position cursor to move, to move your trace to one of these lines. And then you count from here. One, two, three, four, five. Five times 200 microseconds is a thousand microseconds, which is one millisecond. Frequency equals 1 over the time period. So 1 over 1 millisecond will give you 1000 hertz, which is what we've got set up on the signal generator. So you can use oscilloscope to measure frequency, amplitude, and lots of other things for fault finding. The last one equipment we've got here is this um, another digital multimeter which is over here that's the off position volts AC volts DC
As before, if you want to measure voltage, you put the lead into the common and one into the red voltage position. We can go to any one of these power supplies and measure the voltage. You can press this button to switch the light on and it'll measure voltage. Then it's ohms. You can measure ohms on that position and you can measure current on the other position. So that concludes the roundup of the how to operate the equipment in, in the lab. Thank you.